That's a fine shot. So the first boundary struck by Sabah Karim. The tumultuous cheers from the Indian supporters. Gotta go all the way, fine leg is too square to collect it. Coming off the pad and going for leg buys. All these runs welcome, as far as India is concerned. Don't necessarily have to come off the bat. Just one runs on the board because it's been a slow start. Kareem facing. That's a lovely shot. And it's going to go to the fence. Square leg for four. Beautiful shot. Wristy one. And the crowd to their feet. Well, it's the first real time that Akif Javed has erred in his line. The length was okay, but take a look at the line. He's got six fielders on the offside. And this one drifts onto leg stump, and Karim has no problem in picking that over the infield. This boundary coming at just the right time for India. Already very early in the spell using the slower delivery. And there's an appeal there for. I think he'll have to ask for the third empire because I think he's out here. As I see it, the first reaction I think Sabah Karim will have to walk back to the pavilion. It's unfortunate, but I guess he'll have to go. Steve Buckner was reluctant in asking for the third empire, but I think in the end it's a good decision that he's asked for it. Now what's the ball hitting Wasim Akram's hands and then going on to hit the stumps. He's definitely out, his bat is in the air, you can't see from this angle. But I'm sure you'll uh, get to see it clearly from the, the camera on the top. This will give you a clearer picture. The ball hits the stumps. He's shot off his ground. So India have lost their first wicket here. No doubt about it. And good job, Steve Butler asked for the third empire. Because if he hadn't, he would not have liked to see that action replay. So Sava Karim dismissed. Rather unfortunately, and India lose their first wicket. I think uh, what India would look for is uh, Navjot Sidhu to be there for a little while, take his time because he's a man in good nick. He's fresh from a good series against Sri Lanka. No ball. It's a lovely shot, square of the wicket. And that could go for four. There's a fielder after it. He won't cut it off. Four runs. Manzoor after couldn't cut it off. So four more to Ganguly. Well, he's very, very strong square of the wicket, especially on the offside side of Ganguly. The moment he gets an opportunity to free his arms, he's made no mistake with the placement. The timing was good. The important thing was the placement. Anwar. We had very bright sunshine in the morning, but uh, got a little cloudy now. Now watch this. The man at cover is back. Ganguly is set off for a single. Now, if the ball hit the stumps there, and Ganguly trying to jump, he would have been given out. Down the wicket. What a glorious shot! And it's six 
What a glorious shot, the shot of the day so far. Now oh, this is majestic. Just majestic. Direct hit, there's an appeal. And the third umpire coming in question. Now the Pakistan fielders think that was close, but once again the umpire thought that uh, it was okay. Well, I think he's okay here. He may have asked for the third umpire, but you'll soon find that uh, Sidhu has made his ground quite comfortably. A direct hit from Azhar Mahmood. But I guess not good enough. Shot! Well played. On the up, a little bit of room, and an absolutely piercing cover drive. It was a great shot, no doubt about it. That's what the banner says. And India certainly looking good at the moment. And. Uh, Navjot Sidhu coming in at the call of Sabah Karim, picking that beautifully off Azhar Mahmood, picking the gap and hitting with great power, piercing the diving in Zaman and Hak. There he is, that's his favourite shot, he's a magnificent striker. Oh, good ending to the over, 68 for one. Typical Sidhu stroke, using his feet down the pitch, over the top, four runs. Well, he will never resist the temptation of going over the top to an off-spinner, and especially when his bidon is up. And seeing that, Sidhu quickly yeah. dance down the track and hit it in just the right spot. There is a man there wide of the horn, but Sidhu placed this to perfection. So that's how they differentiate between them. Oh, fuck it. Oh, well, that's a real sight. That's a knockdown. Sidhu has gone into Steve Buckner, and has he hurt himself? Taking the helmet off. Quite a crunch there, and both go down. Well, two strong men, two big men. And look at this collision. Sidhu's eyes were on the ball, not on Buckner. Buckner was trying to take position, and that is a real. You can call it a football or a rugby tackle. That. Controlled sweep shot by Navjot Sidhu. He waited on it. That's why he got the placement. Got it fine enough for that man at square leg. I don't think uh, 
Pakistan will be too unhappy because they haven't got away. I don't say they'll be happy. They've got nine wickets in hand. But the good thing from Pakistan's point of view, they haven't got run ragged in the field. Gentle sort of leg spinner, trying to bowl uh, round the wicket. Siddle won't uh, hang around, that's right. He likes to get off the spinners. He's so quick on his feet, he won't allow any spinner to dictate to him. Even if he gets out occasionally, Siddle is a man who likes to get after them. He doesn't mind whether he hits them on the floor or go the aerial route, he will not be tied down. See, lovely quick use of the feet. Face to the leg side. Sharjah's uh, beautiful mosque and the boulevard in front of it, dotted with um, date trees. That could be close if it's a direct hit. I can't believe it. First, 
first time he gets the opportunity to hit anything. He doesn't have a sighter, he doesn't try and play himself in. In, in a great position, he has one ball and he slugs it straight up in the air. Well, that's inexplicable. Got themselves in a great position of India, even though they sent him in to score quickly. They really don't have to slug straight away. Inzaman going across the square leg. One, four, seven for three. Right, catch it! And that's up in the air! to be drama in this match. We we're never going to get through the day without the emotions and passion rising. One wicket goes and three goes. Well, another big wicket. We've got Sidhu's is big, but you can't get any bigger than this. Just a simple little chip to mid-wicket. And as they say, Inzi Man won't catch them all. Important fish than that. And Ilka gone. 147 for four. What a turnaround. 143 for two, 143 for three, 147 for four. Collapses on. He's trying to just turn it to leg for one. Just a little single. Just spooned it to Inzibam. And there's been a dramatic bounce on his ribs, that's right. Well, he'd probably like a little rest because he's not too keen on feeling Inzibam. 147 for four. Well, with all those wickets going down and the new batsman in, Mohamed Azarudin, we've forgotten that Gangul is not out at the other end. been batting beautifully and he's been stood there watching all this happen. You must wonder what in heavens is going on. India coasting along, batting beautifully. Nine wickets in hand they thought they had. And now it's a different ball game now, lots more pressure on. Where? shot from Ganguly. Everything was right about it, the placement, the timing, and that'll just uh, relieve some of the pressure from India, which has mounted up with the last of those three wickets. This is beautifully played. He got everything right over there. They didn't lose another wicket quickly, but now these two are uh, just beginning to steer the ship out of those choppy waters. Ganguly here, 74. Oh. Gotcha. He's gone up in the air, there's a man coming underneath it, but luckily for Ganguly, it lands in safe territory. Two more runs. That was cleverly played because uh, Sarov Ganguly, knowing that ball, there's a ball, 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 ball. Ball. played it very late and played it very fine. And I think in the process he also managed to pick up $500. Yes, he did. <laughs> so nine overs remaining. So of losing those three wickets, I said, pretty quickly. Indians still in a reasonably good position here. Well, I think they are, because they have got uh, six wickets in hand. And fortunately for them, ah! one of the wickets is that of uh, Saurav Ganguly, who is in prime form. And uh, it's 
striking the ball well. He's 89 not out. And along with him, uh, they have got the experience of Azaruddin. So these two batsmen, if they can manage to stay in the last four or five overs, every likelihood that India will uh, manage to get that score of around 250, which I think would be a reasonably good score for the goalers to defend. Very good piece of fielding by Ijaz Ahmed that was going towards the direction of his throwing arm, so it made it easier for him. The partnership now worth 50. It's come in reasonably good time. Down the track, he's bowled in. He's touched him there. He's not caught Ganguly. And a superb goal the offer. Rasul Akram has done the job for Pakistan here, giving them another breakthrough. Ganguly dismissed after a final innings. Once again, Rasim Akram coming in, doing the job, swinging Yorker, then really missing it completely. And that is the joy Rasim Akram derived out of that delivery. Five innings from Sarov Ganguly, goal by Rasim Akram, India 200 for five. <laughs>
Sayyidan will be looking to get his first century against India in Sharjah to add to his six that he's already got. Here's the fourth ball of the innings. Javigal Srinath is bowling to Sayyidanwa. No runs on the board for Pakistan. See what he does to the off spin. Down the wicket, he can't get the six. Oh, what a magnificent shot! And what a huge six! Well, it didn't take him long, did it? We just mentioned that he loves getting after the off spinners. He didn't even wait for one ball to get his eye in. He was down the track in a flash. What a chance to free his arms. And the ball went many a mile over the boundary line. 
big, powerful strike that. What a huge hit. Chauhan, this is a fantastic reflex effort. That ball was traveling at the rate of knots, like a tracer bullet. Magnificent one-handed effort by Chauhan, brings it in to free these breezy innings. 19 balls for 19 runs. Pakistan lose their first wicket, 48 runs on the board. changes in Sharjah. From nowhere a wicket falls, from nowhere a couple of wickets fall, and then suddenly you have a match on your hands. And that's going to be four hands to hit with the fence against the ball, slows down, it does, as it drops, loses pace, and they're that's coming it! back for the third. Very happy say Dunbar. A deep square leg because Anwar loves to pick the ball on the onside. That's going to be four runs to the square boundary on the outside. Inside breaking the shackles, finally getting a boundary after a long time. To do a deep square leg. Even that he hasn't got hold of. He just hasn't looked uh, himself either in the match against the West Indies or here yet. Outfield, not quite getting hold of it. He's faced 16 deliveries so far, but it's five. Well, he moved into it quite nicely. Kurovilla's length is uh, just about ideal for uh, playing the shot on a pitch as benign as this. Charger has been known uh, to be famous for its close finishes, and we've seen in the first two matches at least the teams have struggled to get targets of 240, 250. Not really so short, but it really was a long hop set up there. No one out of the deep. And easily put away by E. Giles before. In front of the wicket, umpire Buckner taking his time. This is the quicker delivery, the flipper. It's beaten Ijaj with the speed at which it's come off the pitch. So Pakistan have lost their second wicket for 79. Now Chan comes back. Robin! Intriguing tactics uh, here from the Indians. 
dancing in the field here. Coravilla had five overs to start with, was then taken off. Chan came on, was hoisted for a huge six by Shai Defridi, and then took a wonderful return catch to dismiss Afridi. At the end of that over, having got rid of Afridi, Kendoka took him off and brought back Coravilla. He's removed Corabello, who's had six overs for 36, and he's brought Chowan back. Well, the field restrictions are uh, no longer there. So, then bring him on both the spinners. from where uh, Anil Kumle has delivered the ball. He's bowled it from very wide of the crease. Got the ball to turn a little bit, but you can see the middle and leg stump. And also Karim, the keeper, going down the leg side. In the air. Well clear of the fielders. And will not quite make it. Steve Butler will just uh, consult the television replay umpire to check whether that ball did in fact uh, go for four. We'll have a look at it here now. Chased by Srinath into the outfield. Well done. Pakistan and their supporters is that still no sign of Enzamam. Well, yes, I think uh, the news about Enzamam is he has uh, damaged. Uh, before he started the game, he had a bad leg. He had a problem with his knee and pain and an injection was given to him. But I think when he took the catch of uh, the Indian captain, uh, he hurt himself very badly. But I'm told that if and when required, he is going to come into that. And I think the position Pakistan is in. If they oh! lose uh, one more record, then I think uh, oh, every likelihood will see Indima will have coming to bat. A very good over from Chauhan, Pakistan 94 for train. Whereas they certainly put a pressure on the other 50 for side and where. What a brilliant record this man has got. And he looks in prime form. Yes, he deserves the applause. He's got to back very responsibly now. He started off in blazing fashion. How is that? Shout for Lake Steve Buckner takes a good hard look. And I think uh, both the Indian fielders in the middle and the Indian supporters in the crowd. Right decision there, outside the line. How is that? Well, that's going to be close. He's given yeah, him. Was... That looked close too. This time, he was struck on the line, and that would have gone straight into the middle and next up. Anil Kumle struck with another flipper. Pakistan have lost their fourth wicket. So drama continues here at the Sharjah Cricket Stadium. And this time, unless, uh, unlike the previous delivery, the ball hitting. The batsman pitching within the line, within the stamps, all the way to the front foot, 
and this time Steve Buckner having no hesitation whatsoever. Pakistan loses their fourth wicket in 102 for four. well said he continues to attack him oh. and this one's one of the outside there's a chase for Srina and a boundary here the side on there that's a welcome boundary for Pakistan not a convincing shot but he still managed to put enough bat on it to pick up four runs and that's going to be four to the mid wicket fence, first bounce over the boundary line, and Injuman, after a long time, breaks the shackle and hits a beautiful four. Well, it was beautifully played, effortlessly, just drifted into his pods and he picked it up. It looks to me to be staying back quite a lot, as if he's having difficulty stretching out. If that is so, then Robinson should not be bowling on his leg now. That's the poor bowling. He's got a sum of his players. And he's obviously got difficulty with those uh, ribs on his left side. And if he is struck in there, if he has to get his elbow out to offside shots, he's going to struggle more than when he gets his right hand into it, the ball's on his legs. Should get two there. Well, this is the weak period for uh, India. Uh, the weakest two bowlers on. Oh, is that? oh, that's out, is it? That's out, I thought it was. Yeah, that's out. You gotta go. Sorry, but you gotta go. I can hear it from here. Moments, pause and hesitation where you thought, is he going to give him? But Siddhal Midgley didn't miss it. He heard it and the finger of doom went up. Now that is a big one. Lindsay Mann, very dangerous customer. Trying to late cut it, Ganguly struck again. The Prince of Calcutta, he's had a wonderful year with bat and ball. 19 for Inzima and 144 for five. Three guys to come are pretty good players. Moin Khan's had a good year with the bat. He's a fighter, he's a gutsy player. And then there's Wasim Akram, who's a dangerous hitter. Hasn't had too many runs lately, though. And Azar Mahmood, I would have promoted him. Well, that'll be four runs. Guru Villa unable to stop that ball. He's got that fine. No chance for the man at five left. Sorry, Dunwell is really controlling the game well here. Oh, he's again played that fine. He'll get another couple for it. Once again, cleverly played by Moin Khan. He, he didn't really hit it, he just gently guided it, knowing that there is a fine leg there. Again, using just one hand, not being able to reach that ball with both hands. He made sure that he got enough bat on the ball and took up two rounds. And this is a very good shot. Another couple. Very sensibly out there. He's using the sweep shot to good effect. He swept in. It's going to be a boundary. He's a particularly good player of this sweep shot point on. He can sweep it from around the off stump just outside. Very, very good player of the sweep shot. That's a cheeky shot. 
just trying to help the ball along at Kumble's uh, quickish pace. This is going to be a six. Yes, it is. And that's it. That's going to be yet another hundred for Saeed Anwar. This is a 700 at Charger. And he's reached it in style, sweeping Anil Kumble to the deep square leg boundary. Well, he's out, trying to go for the big hit on the rise, making it to Sabah Kareem. But Saeed Anwar has taken Pakistan on the threshold of another victory over India. They need only 14 more runs. Well, again, I said it wasn't necessary, this. It's just given India a real glimmer of hope. Brilliant innings. I think when he sits down in the dressing room, he'll just be kicking himself. Trying to sweep that one. Well, that's very, very good running by the Pakistanis. Moy Khan putting the pressure there on his captain, Bati Matran. Oh, well, he's good that. He wallowed that. He is a dangerous player. Everybody up because every single so important gives him the opportunity to belt it over the top. Well, will this be it? Now well, Johan coming in quickly. So the scores are now level. And that's it. That's the winning it. Moin Khan going down the pitch and lofting the ball straight. And Pakistan has won yet another time against India at Charger. The win by four wickets. Sorry, Sunny, that makes it 15 to us, four to you. Pakistan's Saydan was struck a marvelous century, 104 of 128 deliveries. Moin Khan was the other batsman with the bat that contributed 49 of just 52 balls and that meant that Pakistan easily got to the challenge that was put to them by the Indian side. Two Indian bowlers that were outstanding in their efforts, Rajesh Chauhan 2 for 47 and Anil Kumble picked up 2 for 44 in his 10 overs. This was the batsman's game, Saurav Ganguly for India getting 90 of 128 balls and Navjot Sidhu 54 from 64 for Pakistan. Saydanwar was a classic getting his 100, his first 100 against India in Sharjah of